right, and welcome everybody to the On the Porch Podcast. I'm your host, Crown Fiend, and today I have my co-host here with me, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves here in a minute. But first up, we have Golden. Say hello. Yo, what's good, everybody? And then we have my adopted son from the Down Under. Well, if you say that to him, he might get a little mad, because he's actually New Zealand. The man, the myth, the legend, x Yo, what's good? <laughs> How's the wait, wh- wait, you said it wrong. You're supposed yeah. to say, yo, let's go- <laughs> what's good? We hate Aussies. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Um... <laughs> or do we want to go straight into the Australian stereotype? Yeah, yeah, yeah how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how what well, Australian things to say, but uh, Aussie, Aussie, yeah. Aussie. Whammo. Oh, the funny thing is, I'm totally sending this exact part of the podcast to my Australian friend. Who uh, Underworld? Yeah. Has he been responding to you? A little bit here and there. But oh, okay. He's not dead. But anyway, we nah, have <laughs> Australia fine. They're okay. They're just the knockoff New Zealanders. It's fine. Everyone else will say that it's the complete opposite. Probably about ninety percent of the world don't know we exist. But Well That's okay. That's okay. They'll that's know okay. you exist after we cover that's these that's topics okay. that we have here today. We got about five topics. Alright. So, we have the first one up, and this one's going to be in the form of a question that I'm going to ask you guys. So, if a portal would open to the anime world, and let's just say completely random everything, like, you're not guaranteed to be a main character, you're not guaranteed to be, like, super overpowered, and you're not even guaranteed to go to an anime that you know or that you like. Everything is completely random. So... Would you guys enter it, or would you just say, nah, man? It depends. If I get to go to Attack on Titan, I am all for it. <laughs> yeah, okay, that, you're that, different. That, that, that doesn't sound like a horror story at all. Yeah, guys, I would love to go to um, yeah. my, my favorite anime, Naruto, so I can get <laughs> killed by the ninja people in the ninja world. Well, Golden, would you rather end up in Boruto? I'd rather jump off a building. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very high building. Okay, excellent. Very important question since you said you'd end up in Attack on Titan. Would you be a Jaegerist or would you not? No, I'm not really for uh, murdering my own people, really. Everyone else, kill them all. They're fine. Don't care about them people inside that's why i didn't get about like attack on titan no. like or get about the whole jaegerist thing it's like why your entire idea is trying to kill the outside to keep the people inside safe but you're keep killing the people inside I mean. so okay but in all reality random portal not random walking portal. through the random portal <laughs> yeah I'm probably good. not. i think i, w- I would rather yeah. live than walk through random portal I mean, but, uh, I yeah. would I would not walk through that random portal simply because Berserk is an anime, so technically there's a yeah. an off chance I'm ending up in there, and I'd I'd rather not. In all reality, in all seriousness, I'd rather not end up in Ber- Berserk whatsoever, nor Helsing really. Nah, bro. Imagine I, I show up in My Hero Academia and I have a Lego for a head. That Let's shit go. crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. I'll do you. I think I'd rather be quirkless. I'll do you one better. Same. You show up in my Hero Academia, but instead of a Lego for a head, you end up having a dildo quirk. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm gonna pass I'm on good. that one. Okay, okay. Actually, follow up <laughs> question though. Mind. Follow up question though. Okay. Let's say, let's say this, all right? Would you go through that portal if all three of us went through at the same time? So we all were going to the same anime. You know so what? it could be a shit <laughs> ass anime. It could be a Naruto where we all just get murked because Madara, <laughs> we're literally spawning in to Madara. Or well, yeah. we could all end up in something like a silent An voice. An Isekai world. Or we could end up in a silent voice and just go to high school together. 
exactly yeah. and and i will say strength in numbers okay exactly. because if all three of us were spawning even in a bad world right i'm not saying we would be op if we were gonna fucking fight people and, and win but at least we understand what's going on we're, we'd be like oh okay what anime is this let's fucking figure it out and we're all trying to figure it out and we and once we figure it out we'll, we'll determine what we should do either hide underground <laughs> or, i mean or go go to high school again i mean if we're in one piece at least i know there's one ocean um that will be fine in that's where luffy started take us to the east blue take us to the east blue <laughs> there you go i man. will i will work on uh the barati tat barati a all day i may suck at cooking but no you know what? Man, just let me end it's up on fun. luffy's island i'll be chilling over there at the bar oh yeah <laughs> dude three minds are better than one dude i'm telling you I'm we, so we we could do it we could do it all right we'll start a crew we'll find a random devil fruit and oh, i don't it. mean that <laughs> we'll crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Live a normal life we'll shove it down explix throat and see what happens if he ends up becoming if i a... die <laughs> well if no he dies he dies i mean no you might just be uh one of those fake devil fruits and you just end up like killer i might just start laughing <laughs> that would suck you give him the devil fruit and like it's some op ass devil fruit and now bro, he's our gives captain me the... <laughs> oh, bro, bro gives me the bro gives me the nika fruit but like i already have all the abilities gg <laughs> yeah sadly i don't think i'm as imaginative as luffy Nah, bro. Well, bro, because to be fair though, if we all like got sent to like the Dragon Ball world, I mean, like, what changes? I mean, we're just gonna live normal life anyways. Well, yeah, like... apart from the apart from the world-ending threats every single uh, day. Oh yeah, but uh, we got the Dragon Balls. We'll be alright. We'll nah, come back eventually. Nah, bro, we just gotta go to Gohan and be like, all right, you're gonna have to teach us how to use some key because I'm not gonna keep getting blown up because of y'all. Okay. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that, bro. We're talking. Give me some crazy some work ethic, bro. Inject some of it's... inject some of Vegeta's cells into my bloodstream. <laughs> actually, you know, just what? make me an android. Just, just make me make an me an android. Oh, it's speaking of which, we could actually have someone who'd make us stronger than seventeen and eighteen. Just Doctor Hedro oh, from uh, Superhero, bro. Oh uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, then we'd actually become Dude. strong. Facts, bro. Made me OP. <laughs> yeah, so next time uh, Goku and Vegeta are like, nah, let him power up now. We're snapping his neck. <laughs> no, yeah. I, we're, we're all like hiding in the bushes. They're like, no, no, no. Let him power up. Let, uh, let him power up. Let him power up. Let him cook. Let him cook. I don't know. We just we just teleport out of nowhere and just snap their necks. <laughs> nah, bro. It's going to be like 17 in the tournament of power shooting Ribri in, in that group before they can even transform. <laughs> Yeah, for real. <laughs> Not letting the universe seven, uh, universe six Saiyans like power up or. Oh no, it's universe two. Universe two characters power up, and then Goku. I ain't letting nobody power up, dog. Ain't nobody powering up. Uh, I swear, Super Dragon Ball Super would be so much better if Super Goku was more like GT Adult Goku. Oh, that's a whole nother conversation. If Super Stay, uh, if they're so brainhead. <laughs> If Dragon Ball Super Goku was like Dragon Ball Z Goku, even that would be better. But no, I think if... Dragon Ball Super Goku is so stupid. He... Like he's actually so dumb. Okay, well, Dragon nah. Ball Super Goku is like, seriously, like, mental disability. Nah, bro, Gohan's in the tournament, like, you know, the, the, the stands of the Tournament of Power watching Jiren... <laughs> fight goku and frieza bro and he's like he's like hey dad hey check this out it throws him a sensu bean <laughs> well technically by that logic jiren would have been eliminated i mean there's some fuckery to go around i mean technically it was provided by a different universe yeah but technically it's still a but it, it all comes down to would zeno find it funny most likely he's like ha 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 that sucks, Goku. <laughs> Goku just gets his ass whooped. Yeah, I saw that uh, like on an Instagram. Yeah, video. yeah, honestly. But no, to answer Golden's question, yeah, I'd go through it if all three of us went in at the same time. I think, I think it would be. I, I would send that shit. I don't care. Fuck it. 
Yeah, no, if we end up in an attack on Titan. Well, I blame X Split because he wished it upon us. It's fine. Yeah, I'm not trying to get too morbid, but I, I'd probably be like, all right, who's grabbing the rope first? <laughs> yeah. Nah, bro. All three of us just enter during the rumbling and we just get stepped on frame one. Yeah, dude, literally. We're like, just mods will just end this now because this is, this is just. There's nothing to stop it, man. It's just the inevitable. Honestly. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just. It's just crazy. But speaking of animes, we all know the protagonists get most of the fucking spotlight, but who are some of the best side characters in anime? Oh. Uh, I'm not going to steal someone else's because I know one person that's going to say something. But, uh... I was going to say Mineta. Oh, Mineta's different. <laughs> Shout out to Mineta, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that boy is Absolute different. Chad, bro. Honestly, he's gonna get... oh. no, no, go, go, go. I was gonna say, bro, he's gonna become the most overpowered character in my hero. He's Ooh. just gonna have like a super quirk awakening and just one, just one tap, one for all. And Shigaraki, they're just gonna be eviscerated. He's bro. gonna be like a god of destruction or something. Nah, bro, no. Just don't you know? All for one stole this quirk, bro. Did he? Oh, that sucks. No, nah, not really. He, he was gonna take Tokoyami's. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was trying to sacrifice himself. He was like, he was like, no, take my cord pop off. It's so much better. You're gonna have the most stickiest hairdo ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know. That was uh, crazy. That's insane. Yeah, I haven't really caught up to the manga. Yeah, that's a fat uh, manga spoiler for. The I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not even keeping up, eh? Bro, we don't. Like, Audio though. Oh, don't worry. I'm I'm pretty sure like editing me will put a spoiler warning before this thing even gets to this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah fair enough. Um, my favorite. I mean, I'll, I'll say my second favorite because my favorite uh is pretty obvious. I fucking talk about him a decent amount. Same thing with Crown, dude. Yeah. I dude, I love Nobara, man. <laughs> I love Nobar, and not because like she's a fucking hot female. Okay? No, dude, it's she like is the perfect. The sadistic side, she is, and a, like, oh, she's a so perfect, fire. perfect pair with Itadori. Like when they just fight together, yeah. That and like her fucking just whole demeanor is just plays well off Itadori and Gojo. Yeah, oh, she's what so Sakura much. and OG Naruto should have been. Dude, dude. Don't, don't even get this. We're not talking about the trash characters here we're talking about the best <laughs> <laughs> but, so, uh, we'll get them. yeah oh. that's actually like taking well i can't actually think of an actual good well i guess would he be considered a side character i don't think he would be who Ooh, gojo character i'm thinking of nah uh orsted from mishoku dense Bro, neither one of us is even seen. I, I was yeah, gonna I know, say, I know how you would guys we have go? no idea. You guys have no idea, but like, I'm just thinking to myself. I mean, technically, maybe. he would be, I mean, right? If he's not the main character, like, if he's not the uh, main dude. Yeah, okay, then. Like, Austin, the I'd say. Yeah, I mean. I'd say Austin, Mishoku Tensei. Any cultured person out there that knows That's and has seen Mishoku Tensei, I'm out with you. I'm surprised he didn't say Nagi. I'm there with you. Oh, Nagi's probably up there, being honest. Yeah, no. Nah. crossed my mind, really, though. I deadass thought he was going to say Nagi. Nah, right, well, Nagi what about you, Mr. Deep. Crown Fiend? Oh, man. I got a few that's rolling around in my head right now. Like, the first one that comes to mind would be, like, Roy Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist. Or maybe Aizawa. Because as much as I dislike MHA, mm. like, what it's turned into, I can't deny. Aizawa is one of the best side characters out there. Aizawa is pretty good. Like, when you say MHA and someone's like, oh, you mean Aizawa show? Like, come on now. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. Or, uh... Um, I can vouch. I've been reading Gangsta. Like, it has an anime, but I just wanted to read the manga since the anime got cancelled. But that's for another video. Uh, Did it get cancelled? No, that sucks. Yeah, no, it got cancelled because the animation studio behind it went bankrupt. 
That sucks. It's fucking Shout out to not having money. Shout out. I know, right? <laughs> Just give, give give it to give it to Mapa. They've got they've obviously got enough shows to keep going. Yeah, infinite budget. Yeah, for but, real. But no, I was gonna say like uh, Chad, the police officer on Gangsta, because uh, dude literally lives up to his namesake. Like he took in the main characters when they were boys. You know, looked out for them. Uh, anytime they need something from him, he's there. They need a job, he got it for them. He needs information, he just brings the boys in and they're there. Like, oh, he just holds it down for them. Handles himself well in a gunfight, at least. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I can really say about Gangster, because I gotta go past the anime and the manga before I can find out more. Mmm. Mmm. That's gangsta. That is gangsta. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's kind of like a mentor or like a sensei to him, which, yeah. you know, I wouldn't call him the best, but he's definitely not the worst, like some uh, senseis are. Oh. Which, uh, fingers, yeah. hey, uh, senseis are a different breed. Hey, let's talk about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, who's your least fit? Not, not even least favorite. What is, who's the worst anime sensei you can even think about right now? Are we talking about in terms of as, as being a actual teacher? Just some being... sort of teacher. So some te okay. teacher slash mentor. That's this is a hot, about. this is a hot take. All right. Hear me out. I'm about to get absolutely torn apart by the comments. Kakashi Hatake. He only ever focused on. He only ever did like one thing for Sakura and Naruto, and that was like the tree climbing. That was like the only thing he taught them. <laughs> if everything else was, he was just directing it towards. Well, uh, Sasuke. I mean, to be fair, he did a good job with Sasuke since Sasuke ended oh, up yeah. like trying to murk the motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, I mean, Sasuke still tried to leave the village. Exactly. Still tried to dip. But he still dipped. I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm actually going to say Gojo from JJK is probably the worst. In terms of pure <laughs> teaching. In terms of pure teaching. Like, a homie did not do a good job. It's just like, all right, here. Sit here and watch me fight. And then you fight how I fight. Like... Huh? It it's just, yeah, like, it just like, oh, by the way, yeah. Oh, you're training? No, just watch some movies. Like, what? Watch some movies while you hold this this weird doll that if you don't focus your curse energy, it's gonna it will beat attack the you. Shit out of you. <laughs> out of you. You know what? I, you know what? It worked. It worked. Itadori is OP now. So, dude, that's more thanks to Nanami than anything. Yeah. I'm telling well, you, it right. worked. It, it worked is so bare it. minimum, though, dude. We'll give it, it to some, we'll give some of it to Gojo. Benefit of the doubt, dude. No, like, you could compare anyone that we just said to like Jiraiya, like, or even yeah, Master Roshi. Like, let's be real here. Shout out Roshi, man. Roshi is so good. If there's one thing that Roshi probably... Yo, okay, my headcanon is... Roshi had to be teaching Krillin some other things besides martial arts on the side here for Krillin to be able to bag Android Dude, 18. crazy. I mean, nah, maybe he didn't. Maybe he just, like... Maybe Master Roshi, like, taught Krillin sexual harassment. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then he just did the opposite of it and just bagged hella baddies. I mean, yeah, I'm pr Krillin is like a chick magnet in the Dragon Ball world, dude. I mean, yeah, Marin insane. and then fucking Android 18. Like, yeah, that's gangsta. Did you guys watch the uh, the shorts that I sent that I sent you? Your wife's gonna yeah. get some of this monkey D, <laughs> no Luffy, no Luffy, <laughs> <laughs> monkey D, no Luffy. <laughs> uh, that was very funny. That made me. That made me giggle. She's already <laughs> been thoroughly defiled by Kakarot. <laughs> Kakarot. That's <laughs> <laughs> fucking hilarious. That's terrible. That's uh, terrible. I got. Hey, I got two though. I got two technically. All right. All right. All right. All right. First. First. Is Goku? Since we're on the topic. 
I love it. I mean, I don't know what makes it worse, okay? For one, it makes him a shit sensei slash teacher, but also a shit father. Why do you throw yeah. a sensu bean at the most world-ending threat that your son is about to throw hands with? And like, then, yeah. just be like... What? Just be like, no, so so what I needed it. Gohan would kill him too fast. Like, bro, that's kind of the point. To kill him? That's yeah. the whole and, point. And, and he ended up dying and not being there, for, uh, you know, since his son, rest of his life, and his new son for like the seven years of his life or whatever. And, and technically, that shit was by choice because yeah, he exactly. came back. Homie did, like, mm. With the Dragon Balls, homie, could have just came back, but Goku's just like, "What? Chi Chi's pregnant again?" No, 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 no. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to King Kai's and never coming back. King Bro. Kai's got some good milk over here. He's got some good milk. Got some good Go milk. Goku is so bad at teaching anything. Like the only student he actually put any type of care into was Oob. That's just that's not, not even canon. canon. <laughs> No, it technically yeah. is. It is canon to the end of Z. Yeah, true. No. It's just the GT part's not canon. Jeez. Jeez. Even then, Goku failed, because then Boo had to come in there and save Oob and just be like, yeah, no, I'm going to give you my, my power back. Here you go. I'll just merge with you now. Nah, bro. And then I got one more, all right? All right? And... For all them My Hero Academia stands, All Might is a shit teacher. Horrible. Oh, yeah. Horrendous. Like, yeah. I've never met someone worse than him. Bro, how did he not? He knew that if he transferred his power, it would get stronger. He knew this. Nana Shimura told his ass this. But he decided, oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm going to get your body ready. And that's it. You'll be all right. Be like, be oh, you want to learn how to use the quirk? You want to? Wait, what are you talking yeah, about? Use yeah, the right, quirk. Yeah. Nah, 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 you're good. You're good. Go, 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 go! Fight some robots now. To be, you don't even know how to use my you'll quirk. Be good. Clench your button. You'll be good. <gasps> to be fair, All Might yeah. would be a great gym coach. Oh, fantastic. More push-ups. More sit-ups. Pull that fucking refrigerator. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, like, honestly, great gym coach terrible teacher for anything i mean bro literally could have stopped Baku, like just eliminated bakugo right then and there from releasing a, an explosion that could have killed all might's student like his successor and it, if it hadn't been for plot armor deku should have died there let's all be honest here I mean, if you blow oh, up the building, like, no, nah, Bakugo should have killed Deku, no, Ida, and up. Uraka. And Where he moving to, bro? <laughs> Yo, that, that hallway was pretty damn small. Where he moving, bro? <laughs> oh, Where did man, he move, bro? Oh, good. Out the, out the wall, bro. <laughs> he going through the wall. Right. He secretly got permeation. He does have a quirk where he's been bamboozled. I've been nah. lied to. Nah, bro. Mirio just grabbed Midori and just like said, all right, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and just threw him up that'd there. Cool that'd, be, that'd, that'd be cool if his quirk worked on other people. I mean, it works on his clothes. Yeah, but his clothes are made of his hair. Okay, that's just nasty. That is so nasty. I didn't even know that. Oh, Man, you guys pay no attention in anime. I don't. Bro. I don't. You guys pay no attention. What the heck? I was That's an obscure ass thing to remember, though. That is so fucking obscure. I just thought it was hey, like guys, a, hey, hey, a specialized hey, guys. fiber. Hey guys, you guys want to hear something cool? You guys want to hear something cool? Yeah, you know Muriel's clothing? Made from it's his own hair. hair. Made from his own hair follicles. Because that's a lot of no. That's a lot of hair. That's a lot of hair. That man should be bald, or at least have a buzz cut like a NASA. Like his hair should still be growing back. As much battle damage as that shit's got, you can't tell me that motherfucker shouldn't be bald. Nah, he definitely should be bald. Hair doesn't nah, grow man, back anime. that no, fast. No, no. Nah, man, this is anime. No one needs a haircut. Have you seen Blue Lock? They've been in there for like half a year. 
Do you know what? The heroes all the same. I ain't seeing no barbers and blue lock. I just like to think that you know they get their hairs trimmed on the side whenever they're not in the game. Nah, man. Have you hey, seen a barber? Have you seen a barber in blue lock? I haven't either. Well, to be fair, if, Ego, if, if you haven't seen it, it's not there. Ego can always just get his booty call to bring in a barber. Damn. That's terrible. Bro, she immediately just heads straight up to Ego's room and just, like, starts just praising the man. Like, you can't tell me. Oh, by the way, worst sensei here, Ego. By far. Nah, e Ego's the best. <laughs> Bro created the best football players in the world. All he yeah. had to do uh -huh. was make them sign their lives away. And perform... <laughs> and, and, uh, <laughs> And perform psychological torture. Exactly. And bam, best strikers in the world. And you you also know that like if these guys weren't football players, half of them would be like convicts. They would be in life they would have life sentences. Yeah, they are psychopaths. Well, They're psychopaths. I think most of them now would be in a padded white padded room, dude. Especially Botcher. Yeah, Bro, he's insane. Well, I'm, like con I'm convinced lunatic. that his whole backstory is like fake, like <laughs> straight up fake. Like I think he's actually just like a psychopath, like some serial killer, like uh, kid that just like it just made up all this shit about having a mom, made up all this shit about having some sort of parent and childhood. And uh, yeah, he's still my favorite character, but <laughs> that's not the point. Nah, bro. Homie's just different. But that's a wild that's ass theory to have. That is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, dude. Nah, bro. I bet you Ego is Bajra's dad. Let's go. Dude, maybe. I, have you seen their eyes? Have you seen the face shape and the hair? You're insane. Well, you want to hear another dude? Okay. Another blue lock theory that I actually saw, and I talked to Explic about it already. Um, I don't remember what's his name, Explic, the guy with the crazy hair, the like that beat out Kunigami. Oh, yeah, name, uh, name, do you know the name? I forgot his name, sorry, sorry. Um, okay, it's okay. Uh, so, so basically, you know how at the end where they're walking through the tunnels and Kunigami's not there, and everyone's like, Oh, whoa, Kunigami, where'd he go? Where's that been? So, Bachira, like, after the, the dude tries to kick Izagi. Bachira basically tells him like, oh, he's slime and that they can go outside and box, right? And um, and he basically says that he has a, uh, uh, he's been in two, he's been in the tan bed, tanning bed too long. And the kid says, nah, this is all sun. So do you think that's him just saying like, oh, he has the tan from the sun, like in his past? Or it could be hinting at the fact that he got as, he got so many goals that he was able to go outside to soak in sun. Yeah. Yeah, Ryu Seishido is his name. There you go. Uh, I don't remember actually, if you remember that at uh, the end of that uh, right. anime, but I'm a, I'm gonna just say like it's from his childhood. It is from his childhood. Yeah. Yeah, but it could have been more badass. You guys are a bunch of fucking yeah fucks. No, nah, like, you know how sick that would be. It would have yeah, been, been pretty. It would have been pretty sick, but you know. Yeah, that I, dude. That dude's a better. He pops off. Nah, I, I would have feared for his life if, uh, nah, if, like in, <laughs> no, if he stepped outside. If he got enough goals to step outside after that, and, you know, Kunigami's just out there waiting for him. Waiting <laughs> for him. <real. laughs> motherfucker would have kicked his head off. Isagi would have been at the world stage right before the game, just strolling through there. <laughs> Kunigami's mug shots on social media. Like, you know, Kunigami in prison for murdering someone. <laughs> Bro, I guarantee you, Monk Boy, if he gets eliminated, he's waiting for the person who ruined his life. I guarantee you, he is getting, he is getting out of being a shrine keeper one way or another. <laughs> That's <gonna> facts. <laughs> that is facts. <laughs> Day 642. Well, uh, this, is, this is my theory, though, is that uh, 
the uh, monk dude, he's actually the most powerful and the best striker in the world. Noel Noah is just like his front man. So uh, yeah, monk boy, he's actually the best in the world. He's able to make the top five players in the world look like toddlers. He's just so good, but he's just playing all this act. He's putting on all this act. Bro. It turns out he's actually the final villain of Blue Lock. Okay, bro, you literally need to get off what you smoking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, I need to get on whatever he's smoking. Yeah, because I'm go. on board, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Monk boy to the top. Monk boy Monk to the moon. Monk boy to the top. Bruh. I so desperately yeah. want to see Monk boy get ejected. Oh, okay. Monk I... boy. Because the best character in all Blue Lock, easy. Baro. Baro is easily the best. King Baro. Fucking donkey. <laughs> That's explicit. Oh. Uh, I thought we weren't dogging on me this session. What are you talking about, dude? This is just slight teasing. The dogging I'm hasn't feeling, even began. I'm feeling bullied. No. All right, what's our next topic? Who? All right. So, in closing, who do we think are like the worst anime sensei? Like Goku is definitely there. Gojo's there. All Might is probably the worst in all of anime history. Okay. I do think I'm still I'm I'm st I'm still saying Kakashi because bro, like the one he pretty much ignored all his other students, including his mentor's student. Oh, his hey, mentor's could, hey, could Lord Third like, be a shout? Yo, yeah, Lord yeah. Third is oh, a yeah, shout Lord out. Third. Lord Third, let's go. But yeah, and then Lich. like bro. He ignored his sensei's son, and the one person he was, you know, like putting all his time and effort into, he kind of up and dipped. So that was good job. Good no, 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 no. We got to talk about Lord Third here for a minute before we move on. Cause yeah. that motherfucker, he, I swear, he's the reason why most of the events in Naruto happen. Because he simply just let Orochimaru live, because that was his favorite student. Just like, what? He's experimenting? No, not him. He's the good one. Now, he's the good one. Now, Jiraiya, I can believe it if you said it was Jiraiya. You know, he's kind of like the trash end there. <laughs> he's a little bit sussy. You know, but if you were saying Tsunade was doing experiments, I would have asked, like, uh, how much is she in debt and gambling? You know? <laughs> But no, it can't be a Rochi Maro. Just can't be. Just can't and be. that's not even the worst part, bro. The like the worst part is the fact that he let the entire village hate Naruto, a kid that is literally like from from the day he was a baby to the day he was, from the day he was born to like what until he beat Pain, he just straight up let the entire village hate him. No, that's seventeen years. No, less less than that, like fifteen. Oh, okay. He turned six. Oh, yeah, exactly. He turned sixteen yeah. in the the war, which is a uh, fucked up birthday, by the way. Happy birthday, Naruto! You get to see everyone die. But no, no. By far, the one of the worst things the third Hokage ever did was keep the present that Naruto's mother made for him from Naruto. Didn't even tell the kid who his parents were, what happened to him, and then kept gifts for the child from him. This man is on something else. I would have. All it all it took was one little stand up, and all he had to say was that the reason why we are all safe is because of this little baby right here. So everybody cherish and love the baby right here. That's all you had to do. Oh no, not even that. Just a Lion King moment, my guy. This is our savior. <laughs> this is our savior. Yeah. This baby better, took down the night tailed boss. <laughs> or even better. Even better, he could have just, like, you know, um, grabbed a kunai and uh, Donzo could have just suddenly disappeared. Up up and left. 
Yeah, because we, we, then... we don't know. We but no one knew where he went. He just disappeared. I Nobody guarantee... knows. What's that blood puddle <laughs> on your floor, Lord Third? Ah, oh, don't worry about that. That's just strawberry jam. Actually, if he wanted to get rid of Donzo and didn't want to do it himself, just tell Itachi to do it. Exactly. I mean, dude was capable of it. Yeah, well, let's talk about how he had Itachi kill his whole clan. <laughs> kill his entire family. Like, what's that, Hang? This... Including the children. Itachi, hey, that's one thing. Hey, I'll be honest, bro. Oh, that's the win. Check it out, bro. Itachi lovers, bro. But this is something we, we, we got to talk about, dog. Itachi yeah. didn't kill the high rank motherfuckers. He, he killed, killed the children. Technically, yeah. Obito did but... help with that. Yeah. Not just the men, but the women and children, too. Yeah, Obito was... It was a massacre! Obito killed the women. It was a massacre. I know that. I know that was stated. Like, Obito was the one that killed the women. Uh, Itachi killed the men. I think they both killed children. Which is fucked. Like... Yeah, it's a <laughs> That is fucked. The things a big brother will go to to protect his younger brother includes murking his own parents. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, That's sorry, crazy. fire the sibling. Sorry, kid, you're on your own. <laughs> Fuck, man. Sorry, bro. No. You have to get stronger, Sasuke. <laughs> and then proceeded to mentally torture that child, like the poor fucker. Now the writers, bro, they were they they did not know what they were doing, bro, with Sasuke. Like they they were like, hey, are we doing the whole Itachi was like you know actually savior thing or, oh 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 we are oh oh my bad I I just. Put, I just writ, wrote down a bunch of shit about how he's mentally tortures his own little brother in a hallway. Uh, uh, should I get rid of that? No, bro. That was the nah. editors. That was the editors right there. Like, Kishimoto was just like, nope, Itachi's going to be a villain. The editors like, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, make, make him a good guy. Let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> like, the editors were like, no, make this guy a good guy. And Kishimoto's just like, you know this is going to fuck oh. everything up, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do it anyway. Why? Because I'm your editor. Now do it. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> and he's like, alright, well, how to do this in the least complicated way possible. Proceeds to pin up notes, boards, and strings all together, just like that one meme. <laughs> he's just like, well, I, I think, plan. I think, I think my vote changes for sure. I think it's Lord Third. Yeah, no, yeah. Lord Third. Yeah, Lord well, Third. At least All Might now, never. I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> At least I'm All Might never still. massacred a clan. <laughs> For yeah. real. Or, you know, stole a child's presence from their mother. <laughs> Dead mother. <laughs> God. And proceeded to break the promise to his own successor right as he died. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Okay. Well, on a lighter note... The anime season of 2023 is about halfway there. Not everything's come out. So what are some things you guys are looking forward to? Shoko Tensei Season 2. Okay, besides... Jujutsu Blaine, Kaisen go ahead. Two. Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. A lot of Season 2s, really. The rest of Hell's Paradise. Bro, that show goes hard. Hell's Paradise is good. It is so good. Yeah, I got a controversial one. Oh. Controversial. Does it ever mean I'll go back to doing what ifs on it? Probably not. But probably Shield Hero Season 3. Is that coming out this year? Yeah, it's coming out this year. Oh, oh shit. Sure. Okay. okay. And maybe I'll it'll make me come back. Maybe it won't. But I know it's a lot of side character shit. Well, so I'm actually, it might sound weird, but I'm excited for it. Yeah, because side characters are some of the best things ever. Like, you know? that's what that's what drove season one. Was. Yeah, it wasn't real. just fucking Naofumi. It was, it was the Raftalia. side characters around him. It was Raftalia. Uh, it was the introduction of them. It wasn't, dude. It was so good. They yeah. did great. Season two, like season what two, is just didn't do that. These, what no. is up with all these girls wanting to be this guy's slave? Bro, Dang. homie has like, like so many wives in the light novels. Well, it gets a little... Actually, I think... Like, I don't know if it'll be in season three. It gets but, a little um, creepy. It gets a little creepy. And then on top of that, he does get more... Or it's a lot... Because like, you know how you're like, oh, what's up with all these people wanting to be a slave? Like, dead ass, there's a part where 
they actually want to be a slave and they start sending royalty like royalty from like that are uh what, what are the demi humans mm -hmm. into fucking slavery so that he gets them it too it's like it's like japan is promoting slavery what the hang well it's almost like slavery is a good thing <laughs> well to be fair most in most uh, in, japan. in most parts of the world slavery is abolished but in some parts it's not actually in some parts of the world I mean, it's still a yeah. thing i think it's just a trope that they're trying to use to like more or less make naofumi seem a little less sadistic okay. in any way or be mean or whatever because season one naofumi was really good because he was very anti-hero like right. he didn't feel like he was super season two kind of got rid of it and I get it, progression, whatever. But even in the light novels and the manga, you see aspects of him be that anti-hero that we like so much. So True. they kind of just got rid of it. And it's like a PG thing, I guess. But season three is going to be sick. Ideally, if they do it right, it'll be really good. And I know I said this about season two as well, but season three has a lot to do with the other heroes. So I will be seeing some cool shit. I really hope like they don't focus too much on the slave thing because that is like i will say that some of the things that this throws me off about the show because why would anybody willingly want to be a slave like that's just something i've never got about the people wanting to join now fumi's party it's just like homie is wanting you to be have a slave crest on you that is really fucked up yeah, it's a little messed up, eh? Not a little messed up. Yeah, in all, in all fairness, I mean, like, the first season, he definitely was like that, where, like, he wanted them to be technically slaves. Even and in season um, two, early season two, right? No, nah, but that wasn't him, though. That was Rotali insisting that. Mm. Yeah, I mean... Mm. No, that literally was yeah. Rotalia insisting that. Yeah, no, but, I mean, I'm like, I'm looking at her little side. It is weird, I agree, but yeah, it was, I don't know why, it made it even kind of weirder probably that Rotalia was insisting it. Because she was the former slave, and then she's like, nope, no, if you're gonna join this, you have to be a slave. Like, You get what? stronger, stronger slave, you stronger if slave. That is so fucked up, it's like, yeah, we get it, like, that's a fucked up thing. Stop it. <laughs> Yeah, but we'll, uh, we, we should see a bunch of, uh, spoiler alert, I mean, big spoiler alert, we should see, uh, the other heroes get their curse series, so. Oh, bro, no, hey. not, not Motoyasu's, Mo that's gonna be vile, how are they gonna animate that? Oh, yeah, yeah no. but that's probably, yeah, that's probably not gonna be, cause I don't even think that's in the manga. It is in the uh, manga! Is it? I thought yeah. it's in the light novel. No, it's in both. Oh, it's in both, bro. I mean, I skimmed the the manga, so I guess I missed that part. They blur it yeah, out. Yeah, Multiasis is pretty fucking bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Bro's Everyone's gonna... a bit messed up, though. Like, no, Multiasis is a, worse. He has terrible. a, fuck, he has oh, a yeah. fucking dildo on his spear, dude. That's yeah. terrible. What the heck? <laughs> I told you, it's, it's bad. bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, on a lighter note, other anime we're looking forward to in 2023. Psycho Pass. Um, I'm looking forward to the Psycho Pass movie. Straight up. Isn't I, Goblin Slayer? Isn't Goblin yes. Slayer season 3 coming out? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to... Yeah. Psycho Pass is probably my number one. Just because yeah. I love I love Psycho Pass. Best scene in anime ever. And I say that because Psycho Pass... It's just an anime. There's no manga. There's no other source material to it. Yeah, true. And what else? Oh, how do we forget about Solo Leveling? That's gonna be alright. Yeah, I really it's don't. definitely overhyped, but it's gonna be alright. I'll, I'll probably check out episode one, but I wasn't able to we'll get see, into it the manga. It might be hit or miss. It might be it hit or miss. Be, it could be hit or miss. One. Or miss. Uh, classroom of the Elite season three, bro. That's gonna absolutely slap. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. And it's you crazy, it? it's crazy, because I'm like the anime casual for sure out of out of us three. Like, it's not even close. But Tower of God, bro, has flown under every single motherfucker's radar. Yeah, through that. And it is so good. I Well, I'm, I read the manhwa, right? So, like, it's very similar, like, solo leveling, how solo leveling has, like, this big manhwa, whatever. Like, Tower of God is in that, in that way is similar, right? 
But Tower Girl Season 1 was fucking great. Amazing. Flew, uh, flew under every single person's radar. Season 2 is going to be five times better than that because of just what plot points we're going to be getting. Season one was like a, uh, like a, what was it called? Is it called a prologue? Like what, like it's setting shit up? Like when the very beginning of something, like all it was doing was setting stuff up. Now it's going to be super fucking sick. And I honestly don't see that many people talking about it, but it's going to be fire. Bro, I'm actually really excited for uh, Pluto to finally get an anime adaptation. Cause that's like a sane in manga finally getting an anime, bro. Like, yes, and it's like a detective uh, trying to solve a string of murders uh, that involve robots and humans. So it's just something that's gonna be like really good. Oh, uh, uh, something Hori Mia is gonna be coming out in yes. July. Yeah, in about like a couple months. Not yeah, and it's Rent not technically a season two. Yeah, but Rent a Girlfriend season three. Uh, yeah, nah, I don't that's think so. Like golden, uh, what nah, else? Nah, that golden shit is dog. Else? It is dog. Nah, bro, that, that's stay far away. <laughs> arms length, arms length. Bro, you know you're gonna have to make a video on that. Oh. Arms length. Yeah, for real. Uh, it's gross. There's another seven deadly sins thing coming out. Are you serious? <laughs> uh, let, let it die, please. Seven Deadly Sins needs to um, it, it's reached Shield Hero. <laughs> How did we forget about Attack on Titan? The final season. Season. The final mm -hmm. season. Part three. Part two. How did we forget about that? Jesus Christ. Bro, at That's this point, just call it season eight. For real. Hey, what about, uh, what about Pokemon, Pokemon without Ash? Yeah, for real. Uh, that's that's interesting. I mm, <laughs> don't know. All Cause... right, but a, this is the best one coming out. I'm giving the disgraced noble lady I rescued a crash course in naughtiness. No. Yo, stop sharing hentai's with us on the podcast. What the, what the hang is this? <laughs> no. This is coming out in full 2023. <laughs> Bro, what the hang? Yeah, I'm more of a, I'm more of a, 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 a Kuma 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 bear punch type of guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, can we just talk about Naruto getting four new episodes this September? Yeah, bro. That, I'm, I'm straight actually, up hoping. Sorry. I'm excited. I'm straight for up that. hoping it's like a Minato backstory or whatever. That'd be sick. Yeah, yeah. we're getting a Itachi manga, right? Uh, no, we're getting a Minato manga. Oh, Minato manga. Minato manga, yeah. I thought Itachi one. Uh, no. no, nope, Minato did. That's surprising. I think I just assumed. <laughs> you did. Yeah, you full on just assumed. Yeah. But, uh, sorry, I forgot, it's already out, but, um, an anime I need to, uh, shout out really quickly is, uh, my life is Inikai Sun's dog. In my opinion? Oh, God. Best anime 2023. Uh, Maybe uh... even the entire 2020s. No. It's, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't say that, seriously, don't watch so it. Wrong. It's not, it's not good. What no. the hang, it's not good. Okay, so, off of that badass take, uh... A good one that you should definitely be on the lookout for is Rironin Kenshin Remake. It's coming out in July, and I am excited uh, for that one. Because it's an old classic anime getting full-on brand new animated episodes. And I love it. I'm here for it. Like, bring back the classics, give them some new animation, make them look good, and let these new gen... Degenerates know what good anime is. Yeah. Okay. Romance animes. What 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 next season would you want to see? That's not coming out this year. That you really want to see. Mm. Uh, my dress up darling. My dress up darling. Okay, that's the cop out answer for sure. But yeah, a, lot of, a lot of people will definitely share that opinion. Oh, one hundred percent. Uh, cool of the night, definitely, bro. The manga it goes so hard. Love of it kill. It gets so dark. Love of kill. I want to see more love of kill. Mm. 
Um, I feel like the obvious one for me is another season of Comey Can't Communicate because we're going to get like this next season is going to be the best season. But as an off thing, I would really like to see a continuation of Tomiko Love Story. Yes. I have to see that. That, or that like, would be amazing. Or a few OVAs of Toradora, like getting, you know, oh. the the finishing of Toradora would be nice. Mm. I'd also like to see a second season of more than a married couple but not lovers. That was really good. A couple of cuckoos? A couple of what? A couple of cuckoos. It's on your watch list of romance. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you guys, if dude, if anybody wants something fire, like absolute heat, go on YouTube and search up a day before us. I've been trying to get people to watch this forever. It's some like indie shit. Like people like, you know, like, you know, have you ever heard of like indie games where it's like the creator is some dude in their fucking basement? Right. Like. This is like some indie anime. It is so fucking good. So good. Like, it, it's actually crazy. Like, it's definitely up there in like my top top five, top ten of like romance. And, and it's like some indie shit, bro. But it, it's done so well. For real. Honestly, like, shit that just you don't think would do well just automatically does these are the facts i mean just like xplic taking a freaking year off of his youtube channel we thought that wouldn't do anything good for him but no he's doubled his sub count since then somehow let's go <clears throat> and now uh, that's just saying sorry guys I ain't coming back apparently, because if this keeps going, no, 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 you're you're coming back, nah, motherfucker. I'll try. I'm trying. In May. <laughs> that's the. That's the intended time. No, no, no. That is the time. You already have a, a script part ready to go, bro. Like, you're coming back in May. For real. These are the facts. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, let's move on to our last topic, which is, uh, since we were on the topic of YouTube, anyway, who was the most awkward or worst YouTuber you have ever had, like, a conversation with, or just any interaction in general? You don't have to say names, just, like... Woo! Your stories. Oh, let's go, bro. Okay, I'm going to start out with one. All right, I got two. All right, I'll <laughs> say the name of one of them because I love him to death because he's so nice. He lives in like, uh, oh, where does he live? He lives in like India or something like that. It, it's, some, it's somewhere like that we would, we're nowhere near. So it's kind of like an exploit, right? Right. And and I met him through texting stories. Yes, texting <laughs> stories. Like, ironically enough, like, Mad all like was super because they were small. They're like almost bigger than me now, by the way. Like crazy grinder. So nothing like X Blake, but um, <laughs> but like crazy Just grinder. Fired. <laughs> Just fired. But uh name like uh his name's Thunder or Thunder Texting Stories. And he has two channels, which is fucking crazy. Like two channels, like one is like twenty eight thousand and another is like uh like fifteen, sixteen thousand or something like that. And um yeah. And dude, he was so awkward the first time I met him because he was small when he messaged me on through comments and stuff and trying to like DM me on Discord. Like super awkward, bro. Like it was so funny. It was like, it's like if you were trying to talk to your favorite YouTuber, like I'm not saying I was his favorite YouTuber. I don't think I was, but like he was mad awkward. It was so <laughs> funny. But like I text him now, bro. Chillest dude ever. Super, but he's like super genuine and nice and shit and like Dude, he's almost at near. he's almost at thirty thousand subscribers. He's at twenty nine point five. I'm telling you, bro, he is That's him. That's good going. That's and good it, going. His other channel's at seventeen k. So, bro, yeah, I, I was about right. I was about right. Yeah, no, that is yeah. He's crazy, bro. And he uploads mad consistent, long ass videos. Mm. Right. 
Yeah. So who I'll let y'all. Yeah, you guys. You guys go. I have one right. more, but I'll let you guys go. All right. Uh, one. I mean, I guess the most biggest one. Uh, I'm not gonna name his name, but you know, uh, I'm. I'd say we're pretty good mates. Uh, yeah, he uh, did some really dark what if stories back in the day, but he doesn't really <laughs> do much anymore. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, he's just a, he's quite disrespectful, quite annoying, quite rude. Um, but uh, yeah, he's a pretty all right dude. Not obviously not going to name names, but mm. you know, he's a, uh, he's he's all right. Yeah. He's all right now. Yeah, yeah. No, I I have two of them. I have two of them. So, this first one, right? I'm not gonna mention any names here, but you know, I was I was off taking a break from YouTube, and then I get this little message, right, from some little pissant off in the <laughs> fucking off reaches of the world here, <laughs> and he's like, "Hey man, can I get your uh, can I get your help with some thumbnails?" So I was like. Who the fuck? Oh yeah, big, big fan of your work, you know. And it's like, uh, but why did you quit? And I was like, yeah, I just wasn't in it. Yeah, so we we talk a little bit more, and you know, dude was super freaking awkward. He's just like, um, uh, yeah, uh, how, how's this? No, 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 no. How's how's that? Oh, shot, yeah. The, like, just a little awkward uh, social little butterfly, right? Uh Com complete like softy like dude can't take a joke for nothing or anything yeah, a little annoying at times because of how completely inconsistent this little fucker is yeah but, it couldn't be me oh yeah like i said we're not mentioning any names here no no not, no, no not no. mentioning any names uh at first, when you were talking about, uh, when you were saying, I thought, nah, it could possibly be me, but nah, it couldn't be me. I'm extremely consistent. I mean, you guys have seen me, daily uploads, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, I'm not annoying in the slightest. Yeah, homie's looking at the wrong channel. <laughs> yeah, true. <trail. laughs> homie's looking at Golden's channel. <laughs> He's like, bro, I'm uploading every day, guys. I don't even know how. I don't click upload. I don't, <laughs> I don't click do record. anything. I don't do anything. It just pops up. Yeah, but no, the worst thing about this guy that uh, reached out to me is that he's a fake Australian. Like, you ha you know the uh, you know the audacity of that. This is like, you know, I, I was gonna let you slide, but I really can't do that now. <laughs> I can't let you slide with that one. <laughs> hey, man, we're talking about underworld. He's not a fake Australian. He's a real Australian. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Are you sure oi, about oi, that? Oi, oi, uh, oi. Are you sure? I mean, I, I nah. assume so. He's got a very thick Australian accent. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm totally fucking... It's definitely exploit. Yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, the other guy I was talking about, yeah, that's uh, Golden What Ifs. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out Golden What Is. Oh wait, that's me. Shout out Big Man, Big Man. <laughs> big Man, Big Man. <laughs> oh, but no. No. So, hey, I that. actually got, Loki got two more. Yeah, no, just <laughs> jokes out of the way. Uh, the one YouTuber that was the most awkward for me, I'm not going to mention his name here just because I don't Damn. really want to start that fucking drama over here on this new <laughs> channel. I uh, <laughs> I worked pretty hard on getting away from that. You know what? You know what? If we're no, 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 you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> yeah, no, mm. they both know me. I have no problem popping. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're good. He but, will make this person's life miserable. Oh but no! So we were around the same size on my main channel over there at first. I was a little bit ahead of him. And uh, he hits me up to try and do a collab thing, right? And so we do. And he just keeps asking me, like, since I knew a lot about comic book characters, still do. He's just like, um, how do I, how does this character go? Who is this? Who's that? And I'm just like, okay, well, here they are with this, this, and that. And, you know, he just doesn't even say who helps him out, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, no big deal. And then another YouTuber helps him out, and then he mentions them. And I'm like, okay, it's looking kind of sideways. And he keeps doing that shit. 
and I'm just like, huh, okay. And that just rubbed me a little bit of the uh, wrong way. And dude definitely had a massive ass ego. Completely. Like, not even something that you would expect for a channel that size to have. I mean, how you freaking 9,000 subs at the time and you have an ego that's past someone with over 100,000 subs, right? And you're, you know, calling on them, talking shit about them, like... Come on now. You, at some point, you gotta check yourself. But he, he never did. Still hasn't. And, um... Has the audacity to say that some people's thumbnails are absolute shit. And that he could do something better in, like, five minutes. But is like... I've seen how he does his thumbnails. There's no possible way that he could... Is just putting this dude who's making his thumbnails, I'm pretty sure, for free. Uh, it is for free. Yeah. Because he, he, make, he makes a couple of my thumbnails and he does it for free. Right. And, like, how you, mm, just the way he talks to someone who's doing that shit for free and not charging one, he easily could because his thumbnails are good enough to be charged for. Like, I just, I just don't get it. I just don't get how someone could be that arrogant and high strung at that point because if he was talking about making a video then sure I can understand that because love him or hate him dude is good at what he does which is make stories they're not good but I mean they hold retention and get views so by that technological standpoint you could say they are successful he's good at that I would understand with that but thumbnails is definitely not his strong suit you could tell the thumbnails he makes himself and the ones that he has made for him. There's a huge difference there in quality. <laughs> but, um... No, so we keep talking and then, um... The more shit... And he just attracts drama where he goes and then... Eventually we try and do this, uh... Deal to try and get everyone in the community to do a kind of baton race with doing uh, video topics. And then the audacity of someone with a big enough head just tries to change the entire thing. I'm like, no, that's not how this shit's going to work. <laughs> so we just skip him. We do somebody else instead. And to this day, it's like, not even that. But he is genuinely a good person outside of that type of stuff. Which is super strange. Because you don't think of them as being that type of that would be a good person outside when it comes to youtube and stuff but no he he generally is it's just when his ego checks in he needs to kind of check himself but back to you golden well one of them is the same person you speak of um i don't got anything against him or anything like that we just had some awkward conversations and um i'm gonna be honest the main reason why he would even be on my list is in is the fact that i even had a, a, com a combo with explic about this like him and and you to an extent crown talk in the same voice you talk as when you do youtube and that shit throws me off so yeah. hard <laughs> Like, it's so... Because sometimes you don't, though. Sometimes you don't. So I know it's, like, here and there where you where you say certain things. And, like... But for him, it's always the same tone. And it was, like... When we were talking, it was tripping me out, bro. Like, tripping me out. I, I don't know. I mean, that's not really, like... I wouldn't say that's not his fault. But, I mean, like... No. It's just weird. It was tripping me out. Like, I was, like... I don't know why you sound like this. We're not recording a video. <laughs> Honestly, for me, sometimes I don't even know why I do it, so I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know he's doing it. But I, I know oh, yeah, what you mean. Not. Yeah. And then I got one other guy. Uh, it's it's actually ironic because um, I talked to my brother about this and how like I was like I want to get bigger, bro, because I would 100% do like YouTube boxing, bro. <laughs> get me in a YouTube boxing ring. I would 100% do that shit. That'd be so fun. And the only reason why I bring up this person involving that is because this person 
decided to like talk all this shit about me and bring all of this stuff that is completely false oh, to the table yeah, saying that i copy this and i plagiarize this and I, I i i do all this and i and i basically don't do my own shit and then i tell him to give me proof and then he says he can't give me proof <laughs> and that he's not gonna watch the video to see if if it's different than than a fan fiction he found online and it blew my mind this is a long time ago but um my brother was like, bro, you should box him. And I'm like, that wouldn't be fair. He also brought up, uh, um, he, <laughs> he, also this I will say, up. he also <laughs> brought up Zether. My brother don't like Zether. Oh. But um, that's a whole that's a whole nother combo for a whole nother. There's no real reason why he doesn't like Zether, but I think it's more his community. Like, I will... he doesn't, that's why he doesn't like Zether. No, 100%. It's in... This is probably not even his other's fault. His community is shit. Dude, yeah. he like my brother was like, why do you just let these kids say these things and you don't respond to them? And I'm like, because you gotta realize if I respond to them, either like with anger or argumentative, like or anything other than just like, oh okay, that's how you feel, or just don't respond at all. Like if like I respond little, to them in uh, an angry way, all they're gonna do is continue on and keep doing it. So I just don't respond to him in that way. And my brother would like, he's like, he's like, I don't know how you do it because I'm about to get on my phone and I'm about to shit talk them for you. <laughs> <laughs> Which that's some real brother shit, but like. <laughs> that is, because no, yeah, like, I guarantee you, x and I were so close to doing the <laughs> same shit. <laughs> oh, I remember, that reminds me of a thing a couple of weeks ago. We, yeah, we kind of, um, I think we uh, ruined this guy's week. Bro, we went to yeah, war. Yeah, but I mean, that's yeah, that's what my brother, my brother guy. brought that up. The my brother, guy. my brother was like, "Bro, YouTube box Zether," and I'm just like, "I was like, for one, I'd watch I'm it." I'm pretty sure Zether is like real small. Like he's not a big dude. No, hundred percent. So no. it's like that's kind of messed up. Like I feel like that's bullying. <laughs> hey. But yeah, you're you're massive. I'm a, so. I'm a big fucking dude. Like, like, be, yeah. like I'm not I'm not small, but even then, I'd be scared to fight you. Yeah, like I'm. I got Samoan genes, bro. Exactly. So it, like, I just I fill out. I don't fill out how most big people fill out. You know. Yeah. No, I feel that because I'm kind of the same way. Uh, thanks to my Native American yeah. uh, heritage, from Love my your genes. from my mother's uh, size. Like, even though. I gain weight easily. It's not fat, actually. Like, I could do very little and gain a large amount of muscle very quickly. And it's uh, mainly thanks to, like, my mother's side, because um, my dad's side of the family is not like that whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because in, ter in terms of, like, be like, not not only I wouldn't want to box, I mean, I also wouldn't want to box other because I have nothing against other. So like, that's right. also another thing. So even if he is like six, two fucking two forty, probably still wouldn't box him just cause I don't really have any, I would love to get in the ring though. This is a little off topic, but like, get me in the ring with some random ass dude. Like, I don't care. Like that'd be so fun. Like a different YouTuber or content creator and Instagram or whatever, bro. Someone on the same level. That'd be dude. I don't care if I, I'll go, I'll go out there and get knocked out. Yeah, I give a fuck. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Hey, like, just, do I want to get knocked out? Probably not. But like, bring it would be the, fucking crazy experience. Bringing the other guy yeah, that was no. shit talking you to be like, we'll, we'll get oh. him in that ring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, he's a that's a child, bro. Oh, seriously? Nah, nah. I don't think so. I think he's I think he's nineteen now. But like yeah. back hey. when he was yeah he was like seventeen back when he was in that right. No, it wasn't that he's, long ago. I, th I think he, I think he's yeah, around no. my age. -ish. No, oh, is he right? Maybe a little bit. Dude was dude. maybe a little bit younger. A little bit younger. That was I only... mean, if he's same weight class, let's run it. Wait, like, dude, that was only let's like that was only one year ago. Yeah, that was a year. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. So it's same weight class. Let's run it. I'm down. <laughs> I'm game. Dude, no, nah, just do <laughs> what Donna White did with the slapping contest. Those guys oh ain't even God. in the same weight class. <laughs> That's fact. Bro, those slapping, slapping contests. Oh, brother. Yeah, I don't really, I, truth be told, in terms of actual, like, in conversation, I haven't really had any awkward conversations. People who I've talked to, I have got a couple of problems with, um, a couple of things outside of conversations that they have done. Not gonna talk about them, but, um, 
Right. Yeah. That's uh. <laughs> no, that's valid. The, the, bo- the boys know who I'm talking about. But... Yeah, no, that's, yeah. That there, there was just one point where, bro, I was ready to end this guy's entire career. <laughs> I didn't because it was, would have been it's, rude. It's but. mad ironic though because I probably caused the least conflict, and I have I get the most conflict. I just don't yeah. like. Why are you coming after me? Bro? And to be I fair, didn't do I caused the most conflict out of the three of us, and I get oh, the least 100%. conflict. <laughs> yeah, it's like what? <laughs> like I don't even do anything, bro. I don't even do anything. People just get buttered. Yeah. I'm hey, like, what? That's a real. That's the difference of yeah. living in California versus being a, a Texan. Like, that is true. <laughs> I'm, key. I'm Texan, baby. People don't mess with yeah. us. Our state they can motto, sense it. They can sense it through the computer. It, I... Dude, it's my voice. Hey. I guarantee you. Like I don't hear it, but I guarantee you I have some kind of draw to me when I really yeah, get uh, talking. You did got that extra do. farm. You got that extra farm fucking... The farmer man fucking voice. Dude, that, yeah. that just comes from living out there in the boonies and, like, growing up that <laughs> way, man. It's... They're like, you know what? I don't think I want to mess with this dude. Oh, yeah. uh, 100% and... not. I was throwing hands with my grown-ass uh, uncles when I was fucking six, bro. <laughs> I was throwing hands at <laughs> six. Yeah, for oh, real. Bro. Like, and then, and then there's me. Yeah, no one knows who I am, and no one knows where I'm from either. It's nice. I mean, at least you don't live in Australia. <laughs> True. Yeah, for real. True. Bro, for real. <laughs> they can't... Man, if you lived we in Australia, no though... Over here. Nah, if you lived in Australia, there'd be no reason as to why you would not be an expert boxer with kangaroos around. For real. Uh, yeah, the most dangerous things, the most dangerous creatures here are the natives. I mean, well, yeah, they're cannibalistic. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, um, and then I've got, I've got a bunch of their genes in me. So what does that make me? Uh, entertaining. There you go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. What is that? That's all we have. Uh, yeah. Is that, it? That's all we have, unless you guys got something else you want to talk about. No, nah, I don't got none. Ultraman season, uh, the final season's coming out. Oh, yeah, no, I heard about oh, that. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm excited for that. Yeah, looking forward to it. The best CGI of all time. Yeah. That's the only downside to that show, being honest, is the CGI. In that it doesn't follow the manga. Oh, yeah. I haven't read the manga. Well, season 2 was kind of average. Season 1 was great. Well, season no, two, season 2 didn't even, didn't have nothing to do with the manga. It went completely off rails. I. Uh, uh, that's anime original yeah. content right there. Yeah, right. That sounds like it's... That's all? Yeah, that, that's it. Uh, well, we thank you guys for joining us on the Off the Porch podcast, where we don't only really do things too strictly. We just like to take our time, chill, and talk about these topics. And we hope to see you guys again next month because this is a monthly podcast. Until then, I've been Crown Fiend and I'll have the other guys close us out. You yeah, first. Right, uh, okay, yeah. Um, I'm Explick, cool. Uh, hopefully I'll be uploading soon, sure. And then there's Golden What Ifs. Yeah, I'm Golden What Ifs. Now get the fuck off my porch! <laughs> <laughs>